Welcome back to another Brockton Aquariums video. Today, I am going to be showing you guys my new turf. <laughs> These are my yellow-bellied sliders. I have a female and a male. The female's name is Coral, and the male is Franklin. This Franklin right here, he swims around a lot. And then Coral over here likes to bask in the sunlight that I have. So whenever they come to bask, they climb up this ramp that I have. And uh, this is Coral right here. And she comes up all the time to bask. Uh, Franklin, however, he'll come up once in a while, but he doesn't come up that often. And so, uh, with them being in the same tank, I have a male and female. I think my female might be pregnant. So, uh, right now, what I need to do is I need to get measurements of my tank, and I'm going to get a glass pane and I'm gonna put it right here and split off this side of the tank. And I have some dirt and sand that she can bury her eggs in and they're coming, they'll be here in about three days. And uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna clear out all the water and we're gonna put a glass pane right here and then put all the dirt and sand here so whenever she is ready to lay her eggs, she can swim and put, lay them over there. And then once they hatch, which should take like three months, then they will go straight into the water. So right now we need to get measurements of the tank and write them down so that we can go to a place here in our town that cuts glass so we can get a glass paint for right here. So 18 would be the width, about 15 inches. So now that we have the measurements, we're going to give them a call and then we're going to go there and see if they can actually cut it for us and get it. And I do have silicone already, so whenever we do get the glass piece, I'm going to uh, use the silicone and put it on this. And then once the sand and dirt comes, we're going to put that in and then hopefully she likes it. So I just got off the phone with the people in our town on glass. It said it'd cost $15 for the glass piece and it's only gonna be about 10 minutes until it's ready. So I'm gonna go get ready and then I'm gonna go grab it for you guys. So we got the glass piece. Um, we're gonna clean it off and then we're going to uh, put the turtles in another tank, uh, empty out all the water, dry it off a little bit, and then I do have silicone that I'm gonna use and put the glass inside. Let's get started. So we've gotten the turtles, we moved them over here, we got a light for them to use. And so I pushed all the sand over to the left side where we have a heat lamp right here that helps evaporate the water. And I'm getting the water out with this uh, cup right here. And then we're putting it in a five gallon bucket, taking it upstairs and pouring it. We do have a python, but with it going downstairs, it's hard to go up. So. We have a couple more buckets to take up and then we're gonna let it dry, get a towel, dry it all up. And then tonight, we're gonna let the silicone dry overnight once I put the glass in. We got the silicone in there. We used an Aquion three ounce uh, aquarium sealant, uh, silicone tube, got that at Petco. And so we have it on both sides right now and we're gonna wait until Friday. We're gonna go over it one more time with the rest of that. And then Sunday, we're going to fill it up with water and hopefully there's no leaks. And this should help dry it quicker. It should take like a day for it to dry, but we're gonna give it an extra day. And right now I have my turtles over in this uh, tank right now. I'm gonna put a filter and a heater in there so that it's like their regular home for now. But we'll be back to you on Sunday. So we used the silicone and got the glass on there. You do still have a little bit extra. So we already got the pebbles in there, and uh, next we are going to put in some uh, uh, dirt that I got from uh, Jumed Eco Earth. Got it from Chewy. And then on top of that, we're gonna put on some uh, riverbed sand so that um, whenever she is ready to lay her eggs, it's easier for her to move the sand and lay her eggs in the sand. So we're gonna start putting that stuff in right now. 
So we got it in. I'm gonna leave it like that for now. Uh, we used up all the dirt. Uh, got the sand on top. I'll probably buy another bag of sand for later. But uh, what we're gonna do next is we're going to fill up the water and put the heater and filter in and then have the water start circulating through. <laughs> Bucket one. Bucket two. Bucket three. Bucket number four. Bucket number five. So we got the turtles in here. We got the water filled up all the way. Got a heat lamp. Uh, there's already a heat lamp in here. You got a UVB light in there. Uh, we used this little ramp from another thing that we have. Put it in there, covered it with some sand, put a uh, rock under it so it holds it up. Then I got two other rocks for them to climb up on to get out. There's two exits for them. Uh, so Franklin, he's already uh, been on the sand and he used the rocks to get out. Coral, whenever we put her on, she used the ramp to get out. So that's why we have both. Uh, right now, none of them have went back in there, but Coral is the closest of climbing back in. But overall, I think they like the tank and we will keep you guys updated in a couple weeks on the turtle tank.